My name is Oren Ziv. I live in Tel Aviv. I'm part of Active Sales. Nine photographers working in our completely independent collective, Israeli, Palestinian, and international. We focus on daily coverage of news, protests, different struggles, mostly in Israel and the Palestinian territories. And we have long-term projects. We decide together on an issue we want to cover. This is a selection of the work we do in public space. We put the photos at night and come the day after, see the people reacting and talking with each other. In the street, everybody go, poor people, rich people, people that don't agree with you, people who would never go into a gallery. This is an example to a photo that was sabotage. We like this kind of things. For us, if somebody stopped and actually got angry or took the time to bring spray paint or to write, it's already something. The text we put with the photos on the background, the Haifa municipality brought this water brush and wiped it away. Palestinian prisoner struggle, the hunger strike, the protest. Somebody actually brought a black marker and wrote comments on each photo. For example, a Tayyar Halhala, a Palestinian prisoner, was hunger striking for about 60 or 70 days. When they had some agreement with the Israeli authorities, he was taken to a Palestinian hospital. The guy who wrote, that's it, he's only injured, why not dead? In 2005, me and three other photographers met in a West Bank village called Bilin, which at the time was struggling against Israeli separation wall taking to the Israeli side over 60% of the agricultural land of the village. The local residents started the daily protest. They used the sun to reflect slogans, wrote on mirrors on the soldiers. Here is written no to the wall. They tried to use the bulldozer to break a gate in the wall and got tear gas from the army. In one photo, you actually see all the story. Palestinian activists, the Israeli activists, being dragged away by the army, and you can see the media surrounding from all directions. Protesters managed to get between two sections of the separation wall, which here is a fence. This is Bassem Abu Bachmov. A year later, he got shot with tear gas canister to his head while he was just protesting. In Nabi Saleh, members of the Tamimi family block an army jeep after their 15-year-old brother was arrested during one of the demos there. The army usually goes inside the village and prevent the demo to take place, which is why you see children here. This photo got a lot of attention because many people had racist comments saying Palestinians cannot be blonde with blue eyes. They were misunderstanding the photo. International activists from France shot in the neck by the army, taken in one hand by a Palestinian medic and in the other hand by an Israeli border policeman. To disperse the weekly demos, the army is using stinky water. When the army would shoot rubber bullets or live ammunition, people wouldn't run away, but this is much worse. On the back, you can see the Israeli settlement, which is built on the village land. The people in the community we document have our phone numbers. If they have some events, they can call us. Local activists can use the photos for free. It can be for fundraising, legal support, or social media. They give us access and permission and open their lives to the documentation. We think it belongs to them.